we're gonna be back and we're gonna oh and we're gonna keep go stories rolling with Maria, Lem, and KT. Hi, um, I'm KT. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Lem. Um, we're doing a comedy theme, so that means our music's going to be slapstick. Um, our setting is going to be at GHS. The name of the school all together is Ghetto High School. Um, our tone is going to be like, and theme is going to be like happy, but it's like not serious. Um, our protagonist is Jun Cho. She's the new student at this school, and she's kind of self-conscious. Um, our antagonist is Angelica Brown. She's like the bully, and she's like gum crazy. <laughs> our other characters is Mr. White. He's the math teacher. He's our static character. He's not really important, but he's there. And our other characters will be the students. They're going to be there, too, since it's a school. Um, our conflict is that our new student, Jun Cho, our new student, Jun Cho, um, has an internal conflict. And she's afraid of students not liking her since she's new. And our logline is that Jun Cho, she's a new student at GHS. She thinks that her classmates are out to get there, out to get her, but it turns out that they just really wanted her gum, and that's why they were chasing her in the first place. So our story begins with Jung Cho, the new student at GHS, Ghetto High School. And she's obviously, she's a new student. She's having a hard time fitting in. Nobody, she thinks that nobody likes her. So she doesn't know what to do at the school. So it's going to be like a really hard day for her. And as if it couldn't get any worse, she goes to her math class. And there people are like picking on her. She's obviously getting picked on for being new. And she's tripping. She's a klutz. So she's a new girl, she's a klutz, she's like having the worst day of her life right there. And um, the an antagonist, Angelica, she's gonna find, she's gonna like notice Jun, but she's not gonna like pay that much attention to her at first. And the, pe the thing with this school is that teenagers are really gum crazy. And um, so Jen's gonna, or Angelica's gonna notice that Jen's having a gum, back, uh, gum packet in the back of her backpack. And so she's going to notice it, and she's going to demand, because she really, really wants that gum. She's going to demand for that gum and be like, give me that gum. And so Jen's going to have to decide whether or not do I give her the gum or do I not. And in order for her to like feel like she's going to probably fit into this school, she's going to give her the gum. And Angelica's going to like wolf it down, because she, think she really, really wants that gum. And... Um, then after that, uh, Jen's still going to have a really bad day. And uh, um, Sorry. So after she gives her the gum, uh, Jen's going to believe she's having the worst day of her life. And then she's going to go on to a, uh, another place. She's going to go to uh, her locker, and people are still picking on her. And uh, her next class, Jen's going to be in computer class. She's going to be still be uh, picked on by other people. And yeah. And then she will head to lunch, where she will also be picked on there. But when she gets to lunch, she will ent go to this empty table where she's eating. And she notices a group of students walking aggressively towards her really quick. And she notices that Angelica is the leader of them. And once Angelica gets to the table, she slams her fist onto the table and, and swipes at the lunch, thinking that the gum is on the table. John is extremely startled, and she packs her things away and grabs her gum and runs away. At this point, a chasing scene occurs where John is running in throughout all the hallways, looking for a place to hide. And she notices that there's a classroom that is not locked. She enters this classroom, but then the problem is there's a class going on. And the class notices that John has gum as well. They stand up, and they're about to chase after her and devour the gum. But John immediately escapes the classroom and runs away. The classroom and the students at lunch soon team up to chase after her. But John finds an exit and leaves the school. And once she's out, she's like, hey, I should go home now. So she walks home. But she trips over the air, because that's what students do nowadays. And she's like, oh, no, I dropped my things, because her gum, her bond is flying everywhere. And a bunch of students soon get out of the get out of the school and then they run at her and and as soon as they run at her she's thinking oh my life is flashing before my eyes 
but she then sees that they are diving for the gum instead. And once they get the gum, they once they get the gum, she, they all leave. And that's pretty much how the story goes. They leave, and she's like, oh, it was the gum the entire time. We believe that the story will work well because it's really fun and stu other students will understand because gum is a major part of life and for us students. And we believe it's, we can prepare this because all the materials we need is easily able to get for this production. Thanks. All right, let's hear from our judges. Well, it's a complex story, no doubt, and I'm probably the, not the right person <laughs> in a way to bring this to me about the, the undertone of bullying. Um, though I can see the slapstick side of, you know, everyone's trying to chase after the gum. Um, I'm, I wonder about how Angelica is uh, going to be portrayed as the bully at the start of this. I also wonder about all of these different scenes. They're, they start in the math class, then they go to another class, and they go to lunch. Then she steps into a room that had a bunch of people. Then they're running outside. And it just seems like a lot of different scenes that I wonder how you're going to pull that all together in less than three minutes to show all of that and for her to come to that conclusion, oh, it's only the gum after all. Um, but I, I'm, I'm still a little bit confused about certain things and I'm trying to let go of the bullying side <laughs> about all that stuff. So, you know, I'm just, I, I wonder about how you're going to lay that all out. So just as a kind of a point of reference, if it takes you longer to explain than, than what the film's going to be about, then you probably don't have a solid grasp on what it is that you're trying to do. And this thing, it felt to me like you had far too many components. She's a new student. She's klutzy. She has gum. There's bullying. There's a gum craze. There's chases. There's unicorns. There's, you know, like <laughs> at, at some point in time, you got to reel it in and, 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 and comedy especially, comedy is not only very subjective, but it is the hardest thing to do, period. It's easy to have horror and scare somebody with jump or have blood. Comedy is so hard to pull off. And if you load this thing with a dump truck full of stuff, nobody's going to know what's going on in three minutes. You can get rid of new student. You can get rid of klutzy student. You can get rid of so many things and have this be about a girl with gum and a crazy school that is in a gum shortage. You can make that so much easier and make, make the funny parts being the interactions of people trying to get this last pack of gum for whatever reason. Make it easy on yourself. Don't make it hard. Don't front load this thing with too much stuff because you will get lost. And if you get lost, the audience will get lost. I think he just described how to do it for you. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, the thing that struck me about it was, yeah, it sounds way long. Sounds really complicated, so it needs to be simplified. Um, I would be really interested in knowing, like, the context, what time period it's set in. You know, if you're going classic kind of uh, silent movie, the whole klutzy thing, the chase scenes, you know, Keystone Cops, you name it, it, it would work really well. I mean, there's just like so many of those comedic elements are there. But you know, they're right. It needs to be simplified. You're trying to load it with too many, too much stuff, you know, and you just think, have to think of all the ways that you can visually kind of show this gum craze. And I'm sure there's lots of stuff that, that can be done. So yeah, I simplify it, rethink it, but the essence is there. The essence is there. Comedy is difficult. Thank you so much, judges. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it. Um, next up, we're gonna have Kenzie and Sean with their pitch for the judges.